Hello, and thank you for joining us for today's Family Connected Learning Session. Did you know that children that participate in before and after school programs and summer programs go to school more, do better in school, are more likely to graduate, and that are less likely to get in trouble or in harmful situations? These programs also help parents stay focused on their work, knowing that their children are in a safe, engaging place. In this session of Families Connected, we will talk about what out-of-school time programs are, what types of programs are out there, and how you can find one that is best for you and your child. You may have heard the term before and after school programs, extracurricular activities, or summer and intercession or school break camps. In APS, we call these out-of-school time programs. These programs are more than just babysitters. These expanded learning opportunities give students experiences that build their skills for their future, like leadership collaboration and responsibility. During these programs, students engage in hands-on projects, work with others to take on real-world problems, connect with children with community projects and internships and summer jobs, or mentoring experiences. Out-of-school time programs give students a place to learn and explore their interests in a fun way outside of the classroom. Some programs also cater to your child's specific needs. Like if your child is struggling in a specific subject, there are programs focused in those areas. Programs that take place during summer or during school breaks also provide students with learning throughout the year in order to prevent learning loss. Students are given the opportunity to choose something that they want to do and extend their school day, so applying skills they've learned into a different area that they may not have the opportunity to do. Before and after school clubs really and or co-curricular provide extensions to uh, what those academic expectations can and may be. So it provides opportunities for kids that may not shine in a venue like Algebra 1 or Pre-Cal 5 or whatever it may be. Um, it gives them a, a chance just to really be a superstar. There are mainly two types of out-of-school time programs, care-based and interest-based. However, even care-based programs provide some sort of academic learning. You can find more programs in schools, community centers, churches, as well as childcare and other businesses. Each program is different and each child and family is different. So it is important to find one that works for your child and your family's interests. For a general list of programs in your area, visit the website. When looking for a program, some things you should look for are location, cost, hours, and type of program. Also make sure that your program lets you drop in and check on your child at any time. The cost of the program is often one of the first things that families consider. You should ask about program fees, if there are any, and if there's a sliding scale based on family's income, as well as if there are any scholarships available. The state supports low-income families with costs for certain licensed child care types of out-of-school time programs. You can go to NewMexicoKids.org to look for a list of these programs in your area and to get more information about the child care subsidy program. If your child is already enrolled in a program or you would like to be more involved, think about volunteering in the program or advocating for funding for your out-of-school time programs at the city or county or state levels. Finally, these programs want your child to have a good experience, so speak up. Your voice is important and will help programs find new ways to improve. So fill out surveys and give your feedback to the programs. Out-of-school time program no matter if they are before or after school, during the summer, or a school break are important. Your child will be more likely to succeed when they are in programs. And most likely, you'll be able to focus on your job knowing that your child is safe. I think I've seen like increased passion in certain activities with, with the kids. So they, they find something that they're talented in and um, it's just encouraging to them that they can learn their gifts, you know, at a, and especially at an elementary level to start that, um, you know, start learning to dance, start learning to cook for their families. Those are um, pretty cool opportunities for kids. 
And I think that there's some really good skills, like you just mentioned, that when they grow into being adults, that they're going to be able to use those skills and maybe join, um, continue on with dance or continue on with some kind of fitness, um, things that they can kind of actually teach their children when they get older. It's a motivation for students not only to be at school, but to experience school as a place of many different interests uh, and, and fun and choice. And so that helps that, that helps their overall effective experience of school. So I think we really have to collaborate with our parents to, so they can understand how important it is to come to school every day and that, that the programming that we offer before and after school really complements their students' growth and development. Thank you for watching and don't forget to check out our other topics.